Kong, London. In fact, we rebuilt what we used of Hong Kong because it was such a complex scene in the film, so we couldn't possibly have shot it as people will see when they see the movie. But uh, we filmed in London, we filmed in uh, a lot in Long Cross, which was the studio, but we also filmed in Nepal and Kathmandu, which was amazing. Well, had and, you been there in New before? York as well? I had been to. Oh, you had? Kathmandu, yeah. Um, uh, very briefly, when I was uh, a student, actually, after I got the A-level results that don't count, <laughs> um, I, I went on a trip to teach English as a foreign language to uh, some Tibetan Buddhist monks, actually, in India. But we took a week out, the, the other volunteers and I, to go into Nepal, and uh, we had a fantastic time. We were only in Kathmandu for uh, a day and a night to plan our trips. Uh, one of the plans didn't involve having a map or a guide. Well, we had a map, but not a guide for a walk into the Himalayas. And wow. Four of us, then mountain sickness struck, and then there were three of us, then two of us. They and, died? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That's the kind of reveal I like to give it. An anecdote on the chat show that's talked casually about two friends who passed away. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way I like to you know, promote a film, just yeah. a casual, casual, funny story about the death of some dear friends. Philip and Bob, we'll miss them. Yeah, yeah. but great. Great airtime on the chat show. Um, no, no, seriously, wow. I, they were fine, I think. In that instant, it was scary, but they definitely lived to tell the tale. They, they, they went back down the mountain, or the hill, but it felt like a mountain to us. It was high enough up to get mountain sickness, put it that way. But we carried on ill-advisedly without a guide, with maps that were very, very poor in those days, pre-GPS, so we didn't... There was very little way of getting it right when you get it wrong, and I started to get this, the same mountain sickness. And you have to descend, you have to go quite fast down, and. We literally reached one of those real, but it turned out very metaphorical forks in the road. And we didn't know which would go where because there was a heavy mist and we went down the path that went down, uh, which is good in a way, but it just hit a dead end of bamboo and then rocks and then cliff. And we, we, we were lost. We were lost for a day and a half. It was quite scary and well, a night. Who found you? Uh, we sort of found our own way back to this plateau outside of walking through oh god we went through a river we went through a bit of jungle at the lower pass of the mountain and then broke onto this sort of pasture land that was something out of the sound of music you know and uh, Julie Andrews did not find us uh, <laughs> some very kindly uh, Nepali uh, shepherds did and they we did the universal sign for hunger because uh, we'd literally been kind of like Wait, what know, is the universal sign for hunger I think it's something like that oh my so god it's, like, it's like baby sign language it's like oh uh, you know uh -huh. please uh. <laughs> and did they fed you 